94.1 WHRP, Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, Tony, Tony, Tony. It's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning. 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP. Tony in the morning. DJ Primetime 256. Why in the heck is the soul dog on? Warm this early in the morning. I don't know, but Tony is still good. <laughs> it's still good. It still I promise good, you that. Good. It's been preserved <laughs> and preserved. See, see, they, see, during the wintertime, they'd be like, oh, I just want it to be hot outside. And during the summertime, they want, I just want it to be cold outside. Well, listen, uh, everybody's going to complain. About 78 degrees as we speak right now mm. at this hour, which means it's going all the way up. Please hydrate. Keep yourself inside if you ain't got nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. And don't forget about the furry friends and uh, pets and furry family members out and about. On, please don't forget about them. If yeah. you have these furry friends, make sure you hydrate. <laughs> hydrate your furry friends and your plants all at the same time. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. And if your furry friends is your boo thing, well, hey, they just need a good shave. Mm-hmm. Right? Now, some of these furry friends be eating better than some of y'all, y'all's <laughs> men, but I ain't going to say nothing about it. Oh, that, talk about see, it see, that sounds. Sounds like something personal. Unnecessary roughness on the field. (laughs) All right. All right. Listen, uh, last night, the basketball game, I tried. I knew I wasn't going to be able to watch the whole thing. Mm Uh, because bedtime game, <laughs> but uh, look, game five uh, looked like it was pretty exciting. A uh, one hundred six to eighty eight win for yes. the Boston Celtics. <laughs> uh, now, Tony, I, I, you called it. Yeah. So you were like, "Hey, what's going to happen? They're going to go down to Texas. Mm-hmm. They're going to lose one. Yeah. And come right back home for the I Ravens. try to tell you, <laughs> I, not that I've been watching this drama for a while, but you know, mm-hmm. it, d- <laughs> money. So, hey, Tennessee Valley, if y'all listening. If y'all need to bet at all, make sure y'all hit Tony up. Because <laughs> she knows what's going to happen before it happens. Now, now, Tony, I got to give a big, 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 big congrats to Al Horford. Okay. okay. He played 186 playoff games. Wow. 186 playoff wow. games. 17 seasons. No. And finally, got that finally he got a ring. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Now you can say... <laughs> Take my laces. <laughs> I'm out. You know? He can officially retire now. Well, the interesting thing about yesterday's win, that made the Boston Celtics the most winningest champions mm. uh, for the uh, NBA Finals, beating the L.A. Lakers for the first time. 18 wins. Yeah. Showtime, Lakers. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Celtics are back. Larry Bird, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> oh, you know he didn't call Shaq and all the, the other players. He even called Magic, especially Magic. Yes. But, yeah, he's probably having a good time with this he one. He said, my team's back. Back on top. Right down the street in the Tennessee Valley. Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. And PT, DJ Primetime 256, 94.1 WHRP. We looking black in the day. Was that black? We're looking back in the day. Back, 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 back. Well, back in the day, Edwin Roberts Russell worked on the Manhattan Project during World War II. The Manhattan Project was a secret program to develop the atomic bomb. Russell holds 11 patents related to nuclear energy and its processes. That's back in the day. On this date... And on this date, in 1682, William Penn established Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The first photo of lightning was taken on this date in 1847. 1983, Sally Ride becomes the first U.S. woman in space aboard the space shuttle. And it was the first... The, the first Fast and Furious movie to premiere on this date in 2001, Eminem recovered album. The recovery album was released featuring Not Afraid and Love the Way You Lie. Celebrities celebrating birthdays and famous people, too. Silk the Shocker, No Limit Soldier, Nathan Morris from Boys the Men, Trippy Red. Paul McCartney and country music singer Blake Shelton are all celebrating birthdays today. 
In memoriam, we have Takeoff, member of the Migos, born in 1994. Find more celebrity birthdays on our Facebook page at 94.1 WHRP. And it is National Panic Day, a day to focus on your mental health. Talk about the things to them that make you panic, things that are triggers, and get out and in the open and just discuss and talk about. It's a healthy way to do and recover. All right, that's Black in the Day, Back in the Day. Tony in the Morning, 94.1 WHRP. Marsha Ambrosius, ooh, that girl can sing. Yes, she can. She'll sing it to me, Tony. I'm just saying. What? That's the good news. That's what you thought? <laughs> Tony in the morning, DJ Primetime 256, a high of 89 degrees today. Oh, I know, it's, it's already mm. 79. <laughs> it's humid this morning walking it outside. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, if you walk outside with some coffee, mm-hmm. everything is hot. <laughs> <laughs> you in the coffee instantly is hot. <laughs> I know, time for that iced coffee, right? Yes. Indeed. Well, it is also time for the good news in the neighborhood. Good news in the neighborhood. Huntsville City Schools invites children to join Blended Pre-K. Blended Pre-K gives students with and without disabilities the opportunity to learn and grow together. Teachers use a research-based curriculum and the same development standards as traditional pre-K classes. Teachers are specially trained and, and instructional assistants are on hand to help meet needs of all students. Classes are offered Monday through Friday from 8 to 11 a.m. For more information, you can head to our Facebook page at 941 WHRP. The Good News in the Neighborhood is sponsored by Alabama A&M. Learn more about Alabama A&M University by visiting aamu.edu today. Alabama A&M. Start here. Go anywhere. Right down the street in the Tennessee Valley. Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. And PT, DJ Primetime, 256. The best R&B in the morning. And it's heat 94.1 WHRP. I checked my plants as I headed out uh-huh. this morning. They were still happy <laughs> still and fluffy and looking vibrant and everything. And and they kind of like gave me a nod, like, thanks for the water. Appreciate you. <laughs> right? it's, it's hot in here, too. <laughs> right. It's hot in them flower pots, people. It's hot in them flower pots. <laughs> Just because your AC's on does not mean that the flower is cold. Man, water. it's what are real. The roots? T- touch those flower pots and Come see on. how hot it is. Come on. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Put your finger in the dirt. Mm-hmm. And see how hot that dirt is. You know, right, that right. soil, that soil be and, hot. And if it's not moist, mm. all right, something is wrong. <laughs> Go water them plants. Water the plants. <laughs> Listen, uh, this is bizarre. A uh, Secret Service agent was robbed. A Secret Service agent Secret. was robbed at gunpoint during President Biden's trip to California last weekend. I'm like, what part of Cali were you in? It was he in Southern California? Uh, 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 hey, <laughs> hey, I kind of hope so because I'm going to NorCal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, yeah, in Orange County, that is certainly uh, Southern California. But can you imagine? You don't even know who you robbing. <laughs> yeah, I, what I can't imagine is I'm trying to understand how the Secret Service agent mm-hmm. gets robbed. Now, it was after his shift, apparently. Right, right. You know, he was headed home mm-hmm. after the shift. He's still a secret ur- right. Uh, agent, right? He's got it. Secret. 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 You know what I'm saying? Secret agent, man. Come on now. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, so this person robs the secret agent. And um, what's, what happens next? Well, listen, you can rest assured it ain't a secret no more that he's a secret agent. Uh, (laughs) He didn't specify where the agent had been working that day, of course, because it's a secret. It's a secret. Um, But it really happened in Los Angeles. That's crazy. And the only thing they got was the make and model of the vehicle that took off. And I would be in, imagine going into work and you had all this exclusive extensive training and you got to tell all your buddies <laughs> i got robbed by a regular person <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but if i were uh the president i'd be like uh i think it's time for you to find a new job if i was the president mm-hmm. i'd be trying to hire the people that robbed them I'd there like, you hey, go apparently y'all got some skills <laughs> right. in these streets that we don't have out here with the government we need you <laughs> right the latest gossip headlines no, they didn't. Tony's Tattletales. I can't believe they're talking about that. The latest gossip headlines. Ah. 
They all up in everybody's business. Tony's Tattletales. Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales. Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales. Run, Hallie, run. Go ahead, Hallie Berry. Get your laces tightened, girl. You got to run. Halle Berry, who has been elected to run in the Olympics somewhat. The Olympic Games, of course, will be in Paris this year, and she's going to carry the symbolic Olympic flame. Yes, in Cannes, France. How about that? Uh, She'll be running down the street, and she's going to make it easy for people to take a peek. Run, Halle. I mean, come back, come back, come back. (laughs) Halle Berry, who likes to take off more than she should when it comes to clothes. <laughs> Who knows what she's going to wear? <laughs> All right. What'd you say? Easy on the eyes. Halle All right. Berry. <laughs> Hold Berry. that flame, girl. The 2024 Paris Olympics opening ceremony will take place on July 26th. Paris Games, of course, will consist of over 329 medal events over 16 days from July 27th through August 11th. Let's go, Team USA. All right, Megan, the stallion is talking about two much weed smoke at the concert. Yeah, she says people are puff puffing, pass passing, and it's really bothering her. And she asked people to stop blowing that weed by her as she's, you know, performing because she don't want to be high. And if she gets high, well, the show is O V E R. Oba! But it's CBD, Meg. It's not weed. <laughs> right. But she also is concerned about young people who are attending her shows and them being exposed to the puff puff pass smoke. Up in smoke. She says, listen, (laughs) Uh, there's people that do enjoy weed, but she ain't one of them. She is not one of them. Like I said, she expressed in her music that I can't do well with this. So quit blowing it in my face. It makes her go wonky, wonky, crazy, cuckoo, cocoa, cook. Crazy. All right, it's, doing that. it's not the word, it's what I heard, it's just Tattletales. Tony's Tattletales is sponsored by Hello Huntsville, where your heartbeat of the community comes alive. Check out Hello Huntsville at whrpfm.com. Tony in the morning, DJ Primetime 256, Tuesday, and a beautiful day. When you wake up and the sun is shining so brightly, it feels good. Feels good to sit outside, have your cup of tea, coffee, mm-hmm. whatever your morning beverage is, orange juice. That sounds like the people Apple that don't have to go to work. Juice. That's what that sounds like. Well, some people start a little later in the day mm-hmm. for their job. You know, ah. they don't have to go to work right now, but they got to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shout out to uh, William. He uh, drives the bus at Redstone Arsenal and uh, does tours and everything. Oh. So he listens to us in the morning. Also to James. Thank you, James, for uh, checking in. And um, Shante. Got to say good morning to her. Met these people at um, Redstone Arsenal last Saturday for the uh, 249, 249th uh, Army birthday celebration. So they stopped by and said uh, hello. So, yeah. Well, good morning to y'all. Hey, by the way, if you are looking for something to do this summer, the Essence Festival is coming up very, very soon. They're celebrating 30 years. And we would love for you to join the celebration with a great getaway to New Orleans this July 4th weekend. we got performances by Usher and Janet Birdman and friends will be there. Plus, everybody's talking about Cash Money Reunion, mm. Buster Rhymes, and a whole bunch of other folks, of course. You don't want to miss this at all. All you have to do is text the national keyword. Birdman. Keyword is Birdman. That is B I R D. M A N. Text to 95819 for your chance to win a round trip airfare. And also, this is for two people, all right? Plus, you're going to get tickets for three nights' stay and three nights of shows presented by Coca Cola and 941 WHRP. Tony! <laughs> Welcome <Man>. back! <laughs> Tony! I, I was looking at this keyword. I said, Bird, man, hold on. Brr. <laughs> so social media should have a warning label well the surgeon general is saying that social media apps should have a warning label because it is causing depression upon uh, excuse me amongst teenagers mm. um that are in middle school i've noticed this i think it's more than just middle school i, I think it's all the way into adult because the social media has kind of taken over uh, our lives on how we communicate and how Mm -hmm. we live and how um, we receive information also and what's real and what's not real and Mm. growing up with social media 
a lot of kids just really think that this is how life's supposed to be. So you I see know. nothing but the good times, the happy times, mm-hmm. and then you start to think of what I don't have and what I feel like I need. Everybody is a star on yes. social media. It's the whole Hollywood factor, you know, mm-hmm. smoke and mirrors, <laughs> the pretend, <laughs> the fantasy. And um, that's one of the situations until and then when somebody's mean to you, you can't handle it. Cyberbullying. Mm-hmm. Um, so different social media executives have been on Capitol Hill several times. And it is just something that's detriment to the students to where people are have been taking their lives. Like I said, it's been causing depression because everything looks so good. And you see it across the entire world, not just the U.S. So there's different countries that's put a ban on social media sites. And the Surgeon General saying that even though he can't do it, He's pushing it to Congress, so you don't you can't use social media until at least you're in high school, or at least there's a limit on there to where you're in high school. Because they're saying that teenagers are using social media about five hours a day. I'm like, what are you doing at school? Aren't you there about five hours a day? Right. Where do you get five hours to spend on social media? In class, because they're not doing that. <laughs> It's local and it's here. The Tony in the Morning Show on 94.1 WHRP. I was about to hit that note, Tony. <laughs> oh. Everyone needs something. Mm, yeah, was, you, mm, you were right. Mm, you were absolutely right. You I was mean, about to. I'm <laughs> telling someone to love. That's what it is. I Didn't, the notes, but you was about to. <laughs> right. Count, DJ right? Primetime 256, who was about to. About to. <laughs> right. <laughs> Didn't, but was about to. I was trying. I was trying. I was trying. You know what? We appreciate your effort. No doubt. Here's a guy who can hit the note, though. It's Usher. Usher. Usher, baby. Watch this. Yes. Did you know Usher is 45 years old? 45. Yes. And don't look like it. He definitely qualifies for a May-December relationship. December relationship. Oh, he's already had one. My bad. Okay. Uh, nonetheless, he recently married and he's happy and he's got his kiddos. He has his career. He's been receiving all kinds of awards and doing fantastic with these shows. But how does he do it all? He's got to stay in shape. Got to. Got Gotta to. stay in shape. And he says typically he wakes up, he drinks celery juice. That's a no for me. And he says he's been doing this concoction of lemon, ginger, water, cayenne pepper, and he uh, drinks it hot. I might try that just for yucks. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm You're not, not. going to do it? I, I, I drink the water now, in the water, and I, I drink it hot or cold. So I do put cayenne uh, pepper mm-hmm. and a little bit of um, Hershey's powdered chocolate, and I put ginger, mm-hmm. and I put cinnamon, and all of that together. in my coffee. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. So this is what I do. I, I, I get some ice, Uh huh. and I get... You know, orange juice or Coke yeah. or root beer. <laughs> <laughs> and I just drink it that way. I think it does the same thing. It You're not doing thing. all that. All right. Okay. So Usher went on to talk about his regimen. And he says he wakes up early, early enough to have a moment of reflection. I, I do that. Yeah. Yep. Definitely do that. He says he grabs a book. He reads to stimulate his mind. Um, I read a lot of stuff. I don't you stimulate your mind too in the morning. <laughs> blows my mind. It usually blows my mind. <laughs> he sits quietly and he meditates. I do that. Uh, but one thing that is a frequent uh, practice is yoga. I don't mm. do that. But I do eat yogurt. My right. hamstrings be my hamstrings be tight. Yeah, right. And I stretch, mm-hmm. and it hurts. Mm. To be honest with you, mm-hmm. if anyone has ever done yoga, yeah. yoga is a real workout. Like, yeah. it is exhausting. It's not for the week, right? Not at all. Okay, I, I, all I've right. tried it with my juice, not my celery water. <laughs> I tried it with my juice, and I was in pain. You're not supposed to be in pain around a bunch of people wearing tights. Oh. <laughs> All right, listen to his breakfast. He either eats eggs scrambled with cheese. I do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, eggs poached, no. Uh, over easy, it's a no. All right. Uh, but he does eat uh, early in the morning before taking taking a walk. He says he does not eat before he takes his right, walk. Right, It's afterwards. Afterwards, because yeah. you're going to burn a lot of calories. Okay. Your body to burn calories overnight. Mm-hmm. And then waking up the next morning, get a nice little workout, burn the rest of it off. 
and then eat and get the energy for the rest of the day. So we are going through Usher's uh, regimen and workout, and this is what I do like, and I might try this when I return from um, vacation, mm-hmm. is that he said his grandmother used to fast on Wednesday, so he does the same, and he just starts off at uh, 11 p.m., and he just drinks water all day on Wednesday. Oh, no. No? Mm-mm, not me. Uh, no, no? Mm-mm, no. Mm-mm, okay. mm-mm. See, my mom would tell me to fast and pray, brother. Mm-hmm. You better fast and pray. That's my okay. mama and my grandma would tell me. But you you won't fast on, on Wednesday and just drink mm-mm, water. Mm-mm, no. mm-mm, mm-mm, well, mm-mm, I mean, that, that explains why mm-mm. you don't mm-mm. look like Usher. Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. And PT, DJ Primetime 256, 94.1 WHRP. There is a delay, I guess, with this trial of the family of Steve Perkins, who has been going through it since his untimely death and shooting death of Steve Perkins in Decatur. Um, Very heartbreaking situation. Of course, Father's Day that just passed last weekend, you know, knowing that this was the first Father's Day uh, without Steve, his family, you know, just feeling heartbroken. Um, He has some girls, and Mm. you can only imagine how the daughters felt, as well as his wife and the rest of the family. So, um, very um, tough conversation to have. The family of Steve Perkins is now speaking out on the murder trial being pushed back. And what the Decatur mayor has been saying that may or may, or may not be true. So, um, things like that that are happening. Um, Catrella P- Perkins um, reportedly called out Decatur's mayor for saying that he did not tell the full story about his visit following her husband's death in September. And she says he lied in a recent interview and um, something that uh, Steve Perkins' brother Nick agrees with. So you'll find this story on waytv.com. Yeah, it just seems like they keep pushing it back mm-hmm. further and further, and the family's just wanting closure, of course, yeah. wanting all the details to come out the right way, so no rush there, but at the same time, still wanting closure for what's going on, what's been seen, and possibly what's covering up. So um, Monday, yesterday, Catrella Perkins reportedly said that uh, Mayor Bowling, uh, in his interview, he said (laughs) that he came to visit her, and she said that wasn't a visit. A visit is when you go to someone's house and spend time with them or possibly offer prayer check on them and see uh, how they're doing. You did none of that. You never sat down. When you came to my parents' house, you stood in the living room and you looked at me and you told me that the only reason you came was that someone in the community, uh, (laughs) and she says, I'm not going to say their name, um, advise that you, uh, advise you because that you, you know, someone else encouraged him to go and that's why you went basically to her home, to her parents' home. It sounds like politics as usual. Mm, mm, real talk. Tony in the morning, along with DJ Primetime 256 this afternoon, D.L. Hughley, and of course our girl Jazzy, Jasmine Sanders. They are keeping you up to to date on what's going on in our communities across the country, plus what's trending with Jasmine Sanders. It all kicks off 2 o'clock this afternoon. I thought this was pretty pretty dope. Uh, Alicia Keys, who has a musical on Broadway, uh, Hell's Kitchen, got nominated like 13 Tony nominations. That's pretty dope, right? Uh, Tony, hold on. So you giving out your own awards now? You know, you know what I do. You, you know. got hey, Alicia Keys hey, and Jay-Z hey. at your award show. Come on now. Come you know. on. Come All on. Right? And Angelina Jolie actually Actually walked away with a Tony Award for Outsiders as a producer. Her and her daughter, and that's really exciting. These are names that you don't necessarily hear being on Broadway. True, true. Yeah. Now, Tony, did you also know that uh, Empire State of Mind mm-hmm. by Jay Z and Alicia Keys? They performed they the other night. Performed it, and it has reached over a billion streams. A billion. A billy. A billy. A billy. A billy. Not a million. A billy. <laughs> That's really impressive, and it's a song I know a lot of people get excited to hear, especially in New York City. (laughs) And one of the reasons I believe they invited them to sing it was because that song is also a part of her her play. Yes, 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 yes. That's really real. A billion people listen to that song? A billion. So you can play this song anywhere and everybody knows it. (laughs) Okay. How many people are listening to the jingle, though? Let me tell you, and that's what I was going to say, breaking news. (laughs) 
Tony has over 20,000 streams now, okay? Tony, Tony, Tony! 94.1 WHRP. Tony in the morning. About to chop it up and break them down. Those complicated lyrics on old school jams and new ones too. It's the old school, new school lyric breakdown. Mm, mm, mm. This could be um, a song that reflects someone's life. True, 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 true. Those that have the ups and downs of emotions mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and love ties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Doesn't really reflect to me because I'm either in or I'm out. <laughs> but see, <laughs> right. see, with me now, I, I ain't gonna say I broke up with this young lady a long mm-hmm. time ago. But yeah. you did. I did, and and you know, y- y'all may know her. Y'all okay. may know her. You know, she she got a billion a billion streams already. Okay. You know, and um, what she ha- hit me up and she was she was she was crying. Oh. And she wrote this song mm-hmm. called Fallen. So this is about you. I mean, I, I wasn't going to tell the oh. world. I was only going to tell you. This puts a different... Sp- well, nobody knows. It's, it's just, just me. It's just, yes. it's just, right. it's just, it's just I keep on falling mm. in and out of love mm. with you. Sometimes I love you. Sometimes you make me blue. Mm. Sometimes I feel good. At times, I feel used. Mm. Loving you, darling. Makes me so confused. I understand. You confuse. Confuse. <laughs> All right. I keep on falling in and out of love with you. I never love someone the way I love you. <clears throat> Here it goes. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, oh, I never felt this way. How do you give me so much pleasure and cause me so much pain? Wow. Mm. Yeah. Just when I think I've taken more. Then would a fool, I start falling back in love with you. That's when you need to call your, a lifeline, a friend. <laughs> a friend. Something's wrong. Yeah. Don't fall for it. I keep on falling in and out of love with you. I never mm, mm, love someone, someone the way, the way I love you. Prime time. Oh, that's not what she said? No. The way I love prime time. Two, five, six. Right down the street in the Tennessee Valley. Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. And PT, DJ Primetime 256, 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP, Tony in the morning. Let me tell you, uh, if you have a father like Serena and Venus, why wouldn't you want your dad to train your daughter, right? Max, <laughs> okay. train me, Pops. Serena says that she's reaching out to Richard Williams to have her daughter coached up because she's too nice to her kiddo. She probably can't do, you know, <laughs> Yeah. she can't, she can't, it's breaking her heart to say, nope, do that again, right? Um, so, you know, she doesn't mind letting her dad coach um, her oldest daughter on the tennis court. And he's done it once. He's done it twice. Why wouldn't you? Right. I mean, two of the greatest tennis players of all time, uh, those two Williams sisters, right? Now she doesn't have to yell at, at her Mm-mm. baby. She can Let just, Grandpa do it. You know how Grandpa be. Come here. Right. Give me a hug. Let me give you a hug. <laughs> right. And, um, you know, he knows how to coach them up and uh, make them become a star. I, I just think it would be legendary, iconic for him to do that. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be great, too. I mean, like you said, got two. Why not make it three? Mm-hmm. The next generation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with uh, Miss Olympia. Oh, yeah. Brandy and Monica appeared in Ariana Grande's The Boy Is Mine remix. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. So I heard the song. Okay. It's definitely different. Mm-hmm. But what I love about it is the fact that Everyone knows the boy is mine. Yeah, that's like everybody iconic. knows it. it's an iconic yeah. song. And what she did was pay Be- respect to the two legends that did it. I'm first. Be- I mean, the boy that's way before Monica uh, punched Brandy. Oh, I don't have to bring that up. My bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no. y- you heard it from Tony. <laughs> <Yeah, right. laughs> But uh, to get those two back together, I wish they would just go ahead and make music together. I think that would be really incredible. Either make music together Mm -hmm. or if they did a tour. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. A Brandy and Monica tour would be 
Absolutely. Just don't bring the boy because that's the one that's going to mess things well, they gonna up. they going to bring me? I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 they're, they're gonna, DJ Primetime 256 I like how mine. you're all in your own head. I like I like, I like, like that. That's what they was telling me, you're though. Right. <laughs> that's what they was telling me. <laughs> the boy is mine. <laughs> Local. And it's here, the Tony in the Morning Show on 94.1 WHRP. Tony in the Morning, this is your motivation and inspiration. Listen, positive outlook equals positive outcome. So what is your forecast for the day? A positive outlook equals a positive outcome. That is your motivation and inspiration. 94.1 WHRP. 94.1 WHRP. Gurley, Huntsville, Decatur, Accumulus Media Station. I said, Tony, Tony, Tony. It's local and it's here. Tony in the morning show. Tony, 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 Tony Terrell, your best girlfriend. Thank you for starting your day with us. Tony, Tony, Tony in the morning. Tony in the morning. 94.1 WHRP. 